Welcome back to the Skid Factory to episode 13, Ellen. The wrap-up video, the VL Turbo. Make sure you get all the mud off. Don't, don't start the Honda until we're finished, dude. It's too noisy. We, uh, Alan went dirt bike riding. I didn't. I've been too busy. Woody's got a broken body still from a previous dirt bike experience, so hopefully that heals up soon because he's itching to get on his 300. Bloody hell. Maybe we should do a dirt bike video for you guys. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah? Keen? If you want to see that, comment below. You'll be able to see us falling over and... <laughs> Running into shit, breaking ribs, yeah. fingers, all He's that. Got, oh, I fell off too. All that stuff. <laughs> all good fun. Back to the VL. We've got, uh, we're going to do a bit of a wrap up like we normally do after we finish the big project. Yeah. So, a um, bit of a problem with this one is that we can't actually think of anything to talk about because it really went quite smoothly and worked exactly how it was supposed to at the end. Yeah. Well, apart from the engine. We didn't really foresee the engine being a little bit of a little bit of a hiccup along the way, but it was no big deal. I think that was kind it was of for cool. the best anyway. It's, it's, it's nice and fresh. Yeah, cool to show you guys too the kind of ins and outs of, of, it, of an engine. Some people haven't seen inside an engine before, so um, I had a bit of fun with some GoPros and stuff too, which is good. Always come in Do handy. We, have you found that last uh, one? I'm still missing. I don't know where it is. Maybe that's what that noise is. Here we go. So the VL, uh, people are asking where did Tom get the car and kind of where did the idea come from. Tom picked it up from a car yard, how, how many, was that four years ago, five years ago? About that, about four years ago, it I think. It was an old trade-in that an old grandpa had traded in on something new. No, I don't think, um, he, no, he hadn't. Wasn't like that, no? The, 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 the owner died and oh. the family, it was a deceased estate oh, and the family okay. basically offloaded it because what am I going to do with this old Commodore? Yeah. You know, it happens. And some people just think so it's an old... Tom was out on the lookout. He, he wanted one. It, yeah. was, it was his plan the whole time. And it popped up and it was just like, wow, like, this is pretty amazing. And if it's legit, he brought it to Miles and I. We confirmed it was a legit 40,000k old car and it had, like, whatever the bloody tyres they were built with on it still that looked like they were about to explode. So um, he uh, retread or something. did the deal. I don't know. They were like uni royals or something, <laughs> something rubbish like that. So um, yeah, it was a massive find for a Commodore nut. So and they, uh, came to the skid factory for a makeover. Yeah, he always wanted to do the turbo, make a VL turbo basically, because VL turbos are expensive. Yeah, they are now. Really yeah. expensive for what they are. So yeah. um, making one out of an NA is a is a no brainer. It's not much else different with the cars. Yeah. And he also, he wanted to look standard, like a, as standard as a VL Turbo with some mods can look. And um, What are those wheels there, VK? HDT wheels, yeah. HDT wheels. So they, I They're think... They're not Corvette wheels. Some people call them saw blades, and it looks like it was a bit of a GM sort of design, because from the sounds from American viewers were saying that they were, that sort of design was fitted to a whole heap of different cars, not yeah. just Corvettes. The Corvette ones are about this wide for a start, which yeah, is which is a good thing. Um, yeah, so that's a sort of a special, uh, it's a pretty expensive wheel actually now for people trying to build a, a replica. So it um, looks pretty cool. So apart from the engine being full of sludge and then the ignition coil failing on the dyno, the non-genuine coil, there really wasn't anything else. What about wrong the broken with? camshaft? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one too. Yeah, so that, that was a bit of a doozy. That was just a, just a bit silly, but we got that sorted with a, a good cam tech cam, like a new one. You should buy a new cam if you can. It's bloody cheap anyway. And it goes, it sounds silky smooth. It's not, yeah. I suppose it comes into. You've got to put like a massive cam into, into yeah. a modern six cylinder engine to make it sound like it's yeah. got a cam in it. They're just too smooth. Yeah, ghost cam, bro. What about yeah, that? you could ghost cam it. Yeah. That's a good idea. So. We are having a few lemon squashes here last night and our good mate Matt rocked up and wrote us down some questions because he's a legend. Also helped us with a bit of brainstorming on our other project, which is right there. You guys can't see it. It's getting close to being finished. Um, we just had a few issues that we needed Matt's large and thoughtful brain on. Did he get it sorted or not? Yeah, he's got, he's got a plan. Yeah. He'll be drawing up some drawing, complicated drawing as we speak, I reckon. So... Would you own this car, Alan? 
Yeah, I would own the VL. I've owned, owned plenty of other Commodores, a couple of VKs, a VN, V8. Yeah. Commodores, are, they are what they are. It's a good Aussie-made car that you can buy anything for. And Al's an old flat rimmer from way back, the backwards seat. And they didn't do that stuff back in my day, mate. Rims were curved. Okay. I don't know the hell out of it. That's a really cool car. That thing's so neat. Even just a VL. I like VLs. They're cool. Got some good memories in some VL Commodores. Really? Some friends. Yeah. Friends, you say? Yeah. I got friends. What would you do different to the car, Al? Um, I'd probably go bigger with everything, like high mount turbo and that sort of thing. Yeah. And um, but that's just me. It's personal preference thing, but yeah, same thing for me. I probably would say. So we say this every time. Oh, that's not enough power. That's the internet. I can hear it. Yeah. I can hear the keyboards being flogged as we speak. It's it is what it is. Like our dinos. But a lot of people have our dinos are that. accurate, and yeah. the tuner is. Uh, it's capable. Is of more thoughtful power. Like, and it's, it's <laughs> capable of more yeah. power. And the Hoff knows that too. You said this thing can make a lot more power, but we just. Had a bit of a miss there the, the, right at the end, and he just goes, I can make it, yeah. make over 400, but I don't want to. I'm just going to leave it at this. So we left it. This is a silly internet thing that people think that 400 horsepower at the wheels is not much power. It no, is. It's a lot. It is. How's, when you, that, how's the Hoff's truck? Unless you've got a two ton car, and then you need more, but it's only a light car. So. You see the Hoff's truck, 508 horsepower or something? Yeah, see, that's <laughs> silly. That's how the Hoff rolls. What about like. Engine-wise, um, is it worth just turboing the RB30 or would it be better just to throw an RB25 or RB26 in there? RB26 is a drug money uh, and usually they're buggered. So or a 25. And they don't really make any more power. Head conversion or something. As standard. Um, the head conversion RB25s is... RB25s are like good engines for drifters to thrash and blow up. But oh, they're, they're a great engine anyway. They only blow up because you because uh, people smashed cars. them on a limiter for like yeah. five minutes down around the track and then. Mm. That's what I said they're good for drifters. Yeah, and I don't. It's, I don't really see the point. Like if you wanted to go, you'd obviously put a bigger cam in and have the head. The head is stock. Like you can you can go pretty crazy with them. Um, the two valve doesn't really hold it back that much. Yeah, um, making, people are making them serious power. Yeah, 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 like bloody fifteen hundred horsepower yeah. or something like that. Like you can you can do it. Yep. But obviously um, needs a bit of head work and that sort of thing. Personally, I probably wouldn't bother going, put, like changing it from the single overhead cam because it's sort of that's what a VL has and it's kind of cool. That it's, it's just its, it's thing. It's not a hard conversion. I wouldn't to do, put an RB30 with a single overhead cam in a GDR or anything. But yeah, true that. It's yeah. just it, it works and it's it's there and yeah. So I don't see the point. Bigger cam, so it sounds like it's aggressive and lumpy. Port it. Rop, rop, rop. They're pretty bloody simple to work on too, which is a Endless good thing. I don't reckon you could even break that cam. You don't reckon? No. I can I give it a red hot? Yeah, you probably, you probably would. <laughs> Maybe it was you that broke that cam that was in it in the first place. No, I did nothing. Maybe. I just sat on the bench over here, dude. Um, what went wrong with it? Yeah, we've covered that already. It's um, not much. Nothing. Yeah. It's It's... The car was approached with such a good mentality with Tom, like had everything planned out, all the parts were pre-purchased, had the budget set, he had money there to, on the side if anything did go wrong. Um, and we, yeah, when I when someone wants something, I listen to them, I'm not going to yeah. do what I want to do, it's not my car. Um, oh, the I beg to differ, you are very persuasive. No, with it's only if, it, it's, if there's a, a technical thing. issue with yeah. some, sometimes people want to do things and it's just not, practical and that that's explained yeah. and then we work through it and figure out what the right what the what we can do that actually will work properly yeah. that's different um but i wouldn't go pushing him into doing putting the 2j's in it just because i want that it's not yeah. my car yeah. yep. so um it's as far as tom's concerned from the feedback we've got from him oh, the lovely. car is exactly what he wanted and that's that's great because that's what the the goal is yeah it's it's not to impress you guys on the internet it's for tom so, um, and he's happy, he's, he's stoked, absolutely yeah. stoked with it. I think he needs to drive it more. But needs better tyres. It's got the right tyres, doesn't it? 
They're not uni rolls from 1988. Yeah, no, they're, still, <laughs> they're not like the old tyres. They're yeah. just skinny. They're not, they're not 400 horsepower at the wheels tyres, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. What else? One final question is, did we devalue the car with it being so original? Personally, I will say no on that. I think that it's, we didn't cut holes in the body. We Everything's still standard. It's just got a turbo added. I guarantee you that that car's worth more than it was when it was stock. Oh, yeah. Still original. They're, cra still they're, original. Worth, they're worth crazy money as it is, like for what it is. A lot of old cars are getting worth a lot of money. Though, yeah. Though. That's because dudes like me reminiscing get, get to their yeah. mid-40s and go, man, I really wanted one of them when I was a kid. And, and you know, some of them have actually got money. So they... Stop making all these cars so expensive. They can afford to lash out them. Like van V8s, I had one of them when I was... 21. Yeah, they're crazy, yeah. A VNSS is like the sporty version of it. That's They're like crazy money now. Yeah. They were worth bugger all in the 2000s. You know what 2000s. I saw for sale? A um, Z32, a 300ZX. One of those. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. One of those was heck like 12 grand on this original thing. I couldn't believe it. I reckon you could get one cheaper than that. Man, I thought they were like a $500 you car. Just wait. Yeah, well, when the engine's blown up, but they are. Yeah. That's inevitable. But same thing. It's one of those cars that people patient. love. Yeah, I, people, I like said 32s yeah, I like, When they're done nice, they're good. Mm. That'd be cool if we could do one of them one day. I'm still trying to find an S12. Can't find one. You need to find some money oh, first. Yeah, I've also got no money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much us, I think. That's, we've kind of covered lots of stuff here. We've got heaps of stuff going on in the skid factory, as uh, we've always say. There's a few clues on social media for those of you who follow us on Facebook and Instagram. There's a couple going around. So, um, can we give it away what it is? No. What? Maybe just like what make it How is. about, it's a turbo four-wheel drive. There you go. That, that narrows it down heaps, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's white. There you go. It's got wrinkled red. That's only because it's here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've um, also got some new stickers. Well, finally got some stickers made uh, in the, at the MCM store. It was a bit of an oversight. Yeah, we... <laughs> like. It's almost like we knew it, this. <laughs> <laughs> and shirts. Um, new Skid Factory shirt. We've got some more designs coming. A lot of you guys have sent us um, some ideas and we kind of jumped on them. And oh, It's actually some shirts we've always wanted to do, but... Um, it, yeah. They should be out... Soon, hopefully. In a Maybe. month it or so. It might even be out when this episode's out. Maybe. Maybe. If it is, we'll link it. Um, Maguire's Motor X, May 11th and 12th at Melbourne Showgrounds. We're going to be down there having some fun, drinking lemon squash, giving out high fives. Uh, Benny's going to be there. The Crest is going to be there, yeah? We're there to chat to you guys if you're Melbourneites. Not just, so, not just from Melbourne. Come, just drive, jump in the car, come and go see for us. a road trip. Don't hang back. We love a chat. Bloody oath. Talk about cars. I'm good at that. Yep. Bring your car down. You can enter your car too. Um, throw it in there. Only if it's a good one. I don't think they want shooters there, but... No S12s? Oh, come on, man. S12s are cool. Uh -uh. Yeah, that was, that was brutal. They are cool. Yeah. Especially those notchback ones. There's a few... Um, yeah, notchbacks are cool. Yours wasn't cool. It was a heap of yeah, shit. Yeah, that was crap. <laughs> There's a lot of other international guests going to be there. It's going to be a really good time. Come on down. Say hi. It's going to be really fun. Mm. We're going to be selling some merch there, too. Benny's, Benny's going to be there. Benny's, I just said that. Benny's got some merch going to be there. The Crest is coming, yeah? Hell yeah. Yeah, sweet. Cresta's getting a bit of a makeover at Don't the moment. I'm sure you people know about it. What else is going on? Lots and lots and lots. It's crazy. Woody's ribs healing. Yeah, I'm getting there slowly. It hurts when you fall off your motorbike at speed, hey? <laughs> Can I insert that footage of you whiskey throttling your bush it back into the bush? When was that? <laughs> Which time? All the time. <laughs> Have you got footage? I'd like Isn't to see it. Is there iPhone footage somewhere? Maybe. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. The next bunch of footage you're about to see is a few thrills and spills courtesy of our mate Joe at Jojo Moto. 
do yourself a favor, jump over to his channel, give him a watch, give him a subscribe. He's got some epic dirt squirting content. I'm looking forward to doing some videos with him in the future. Thanks for watching. Yes, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh jeez, man! Holy hell! Are you alright, mate? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Jeez. Are you alright, mate? Yeah. Get my arms and get This is whoa! Whoa! You right? You right? Yeah, I'm hard. You right, mate? <laughs> oh, we gotta go up there, huh? Came through. We did not. Oh! Hey! Hey, yo! Oh. Are you right? Oh! I'd lift it up. Lift it up and over. Just pick the back up and over. It'll save you a lot of hassle. Don't go too far back. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted.